all right guys so welcome back to my channel and um thank you for always joining me so today we're looking at the 0s03c debugging task and um we'll just walk through it so um it, what are bugs bugs simply um um those things that don't allow your code to run the way they're supposed to run and then debugging is trying to find out what exactly is making my code not to run properly the way it's supposed to run so in this task we are asked to debug their code so they are they have bugs in their code all right so there are stops that are not aligned these codes to work the way they're supposed to work properly and we are asked to debug and see where these errors are so we are going to be finding errors in their code so in this task we are not really coding but we are looking at errors that are not making these codes to run the way they are supposed to run now before then let me just show you the quiz questions just in case you still have issues with the quiz questions so question zero question one ask question one question two and question three so all this we are just trying to debug and see what are the errors in this code all right so that is it for the quiz questions let me just close this now so that we'll have all right and for this task um we are of course you should be used to all this we we'll have to use the betty style and all that i've already created the directory the for this project so you can go ahead and create the directory which is the 0 3 debugging task and i've also created the readme.md which you also need to create the next thing we want to create is the header file which is the main.h all right the main.h file which is the header file so i'll go ahead and create that i'll just do vi all right and here i will just copy this header file remember the syntax like we did in our last tax so i will just copy this and um, so let me set paste okay I'm sure you still remember all this. If not defined, defined, and then end if. So this is just a comment here. All right. So we are done with our header file. So let's save this and exit. All right. So let's look at our task. Number one. In most projects, we often give you only one main file to test with. For example, the main file is a test for a this main file is a test for a positive or negative function, similar to the one you worked in an earlier project. So this is the task. All right. Now, based on the main.c file above. Create a file named zero main c. So we're going to create a file named zero main c. This this file must be test. This file will be test. This file must be test. This file must test that the function positive or negative gives the correct output when given the case of zero. So we're going to create a main c file, and that it should test that with this function, the positive or negative function, that when you give it a cost of zero. It should test if it's negative or positive you are not you are not coding the solution function you are just testing however you can adapt your function from here which is this all right to compile with this main file to test locally so we can actually test our file and but before we can test our file we will need this function which we already did in our previous tax you only need to upload the zero main dot c and the main.h for this task we will provide our own positive or negative function you are not allowed to add or remove lines of code you may change only one line in this task so we are not allowed to remove or change we are not allowed to remove or add any line of code 
but we can only change one line of code in this task so let's see how we can do this the first thing we need to do is to create our zero main dot c file so let's just copy the file name so we're going to create this so let me set set paste now okay so now we are going to copy this code this code which is the main.c because that is what they say we should do based on the main.c file above create a file this this file this file must test that the function this gives the output the output if given k0 if given a case of zero so we are going to copy this all right so we'll paste this now so by doing this I hope Betty will be good with this because it doesn't look like but let's see so now we are going to change this 98 to 0 because they say if given the case of 0 right if given the case of 0 so that means the given case now is going to be 0 no longer 98 so that is all we are going to change they will just change this to 0 sorry 0 if given the case of 0 remember here it's given the case of 98 but here we need to give it the case of 0 so that we are able to test to see if um, it's positive or negative not 98 so that is the bug in this code just change the 98 to zero and once you do that go ahead save and exit okay i feel like betty is not happy with this file but let's see yep i feel like betty is not happy with this file so um that's because i tapped the r the i twice so let's vi to bet to our file again because you can see that you have spaces here so we're not supposed to have those spaces so i'll just clean up the space and then i'll use the tab so that is good right now so we'll do same for this so that is okay clean up here so that is good clean up here that is also good so there are cases where you can have space after your code so we have to check for that too okay so let's save and exit and run betty again and see if betty is okay all right so betty is fine with us now all right now with these two with these two files with these two files we are already good all right but we might not be able to test to see our code because because of this flag so now this flag that is testing for this code you see that we have positive or negative dot c so for us to be able to test for to see if our code works well we need to create mm -hmm. this file but you see from the question they say that you you only need to upload the zero main dot c and the main dot h for this task we upload will provide our own positive or negative function so if we must do this then we are doing this just to test locally all right so we can just do this to test and see that code works well or we can just push our code to git up and check of course the code is going to work well but let's see if we can create this file um we can create this file the um positive um, what is it positive or negative dot c 
so let's see if we can create this and just use it for testing purpose then we might decide to either push it or not because whether we push it or not is not going to be taken into account all right so now we are going to create this file and then we'll just use it to test locally and see if our code will work properly before we push it to to github all right so now we are using we're going to use the the local function because the function i think is the main dot h the main dot h so we can just use the main dot h so ash include so ash include main dot h all right so because we are not um pushing it is not part of our course we don't really need to disturb ourselves about betty so we can just um start coding all right we can just start coding without really disturbing ourselves about betty so now we, now we need to look for the prototype of that function we need to look for the prototype of that function which is um this positive or negative i or let's check the other file yes this is the other file so this is the, the prototype so we just copy this function so the function is without the semicolon the prototype is with the semicolon but all i need is just the all right it's just the function all right now let's test we are, we are just creating this file to test what we've done so we'll just say if remember that we are testing so if i is equals to zero if i is equals to zero we're going to say print f then percentage d the double quotes percentage d so we're just testing to see now remember this is what we are writing here that's why we have this function so that is what we are writing there is positive right is positive then we can put the new line and then what are we looking for we are looking for i so we close so that is the first case <coughs> so percentage d which represent the integer of i and we say is positive so we're just checking for it that is if this if is equal i is equal to zero then let's just print that is positive right So let me let's do this since it's a test file let's say if oh let's test for if is greater than zero first if it's greater than zero greater than zero let's print that is positive then if it's equals to zero then we should print that is zero all right so we can okay i wanted to copy that but it's not copying so let's print this okay so here we we'll just yep so if it's equals to zero right so as if if i is equal to zero so if i is equal to zero we we'll just print that is equals to zero so print f then we'll say percentage d we'll say from what they've given to us is 
zero right and then let's have the new line character i and then we close okay and then of course if that doesn't work then it has to be else so else else we will just say print f percentage d percentage d double quotes percentage d we will say is negative right that's what we are giving it's negative so followed by the new line and then i okay i hope we don't have any bug here so let's save our file and exit so if i is greater than zero we just print f that is positive as if i is equals to zero we print f we print f that is zero and if it's negative we just print that is negative all right so let's save and exit all right now we can test our file we can test our code and see um, so we are using this as our flag Okay, we are using this as our flag. Yep, that wasn't complete. So we're using this as our flag. So let's test and see if our code works well. Okay, we'll have some something to change here. Okay, so let's fix this from a positive or negative file. So VI to our file. Okay. Okay, so that works. So zero is zero, right? So that works. Okay, so the the issue was that we didn't we didn't separate the else if. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me view into the file again so that you see our code. So we are not pushing that file. We are only using it to test. 
so you see so let's go ahead and and push our code so we're just going to git add um then git commit so i'm just going to add everything but it's not going to be taken into account so zero main dot c and git push So we can go ahead and check our code. Let's see if our code works well. All right, so our code works well, All right? So like I said, the last, the last um, file we created is just to test the positive or negative function is just to test and see if um, locally to see if our code works well, but without that, you can still push your file and check your code because all we are asked to create is just the main.c and the main.h file. All right, so let's go to the next question. The next question says, copy this main file, comment out, don't delete it. Just comment out, don't delete it. The part of the code that is causing the output to go into infinite loop. Don't add or remove any lines of code as we will be checking your line count, you are only allowed to comment out existing code. You do not have to compile this for this task, okay? So, in this task, we are asked to just comment out the part of the code that is causing the code to go into infinite loop. I know what infinite loop is, is that you are looping and it doesn't stop, and it can even cause your system to crash. So here, we're just going to comment out that part that is making it to go into infinite loop. And we're not going to add any lines of code. We're not going to delete any lines of code. All right. So let's, um, I think there's a prototype for this. Um, so let's see, is there a prototype for this? I guess no. So this is the file name. So we'll just copy the file name. And we'll veer into the file name. All right, so let's set the paste. So exclamation, then column, set, paste, it enter, and it add. Okay, so here we are going to copy this code all the way to here, the return statement. And we'll paste our code here. Okay. So here we are asked to comment out um, the part of the code that is making this to go into infinite loop. Now, if you look at this, it's simple to know that this code is simply going to infinite loop because there is no increment or decrement for this for this um, condition for the y condition. So this is a loop, the y loop, and this is i is less than ten and already i is set to zero so each time this code will run i will always be less than 10 all right because there's no increment for i so for this code to work properly we're supposed to have i is less than 10 and i plus plus so by the time this code will run nine times this code will hit i is now greater than 10 and then i the code will exit so but for this particular code is going to run infinitely there's no decrement and there's no increment on this code all right so we're just going to comment the part that makes this code to run into infinite loop so we'll stand here remember they say we should not add lines of code so we'll just comment here same thing we need to make sure that Betty is happy with us mm 
Okay. So we just need to indent that. All right. Same thing here. So please don't change the lines of code. If not, you'll have errors. All right. So here we are going to comment out this part of the code. And then for each of these lines, just add a comment. Add an asterisk here, add an asterisk here, add an asterisk here, and then we can close our code here. All right. So we are commenting this whole part of the code because this is where we have issues, right? So let's see if this code will work. But because I think this is the only place we need to comment out. We didn't add any line of code. All we did was to just comment out this particular area. So let's save and exit and let's see if Betty is happy with what we've done. Okay, so code in there should use tab where possible, please. No spaces before tab. Um, okay, so let's fix that. That's from Betty. trying to make sure that we don't have spaces again okay so let's see and let's run Betty again Oh, we still have some error. Connect then should use tab where possible. Please, no spaces before tab. Line 10, line 10. Um, please, no spaces at the start of a line. Uh, missing initial short description. Um, one in bad line. No description found for parameter or member. Print F. Okay. So this is because of all these comments. I, I'm just trying to say we can fix this up. Mm -mm -mm. return this and see we are not adding lines of code so we need to just be careful so this should have worked without Betty the way it is but with Betty this might not work without Betty this let me see I know it won't work because Betty will want you to comment out each line. So you see. And I, let me see. I hope we copy the file correctly also. Incoming loop. Then infinite loop. Infinite loop incoming and infinite loop avoided. So 
so the main function is that which is a description the return function is there and um, we have the function here we have the declaration we have the printf and we have the print here okay so let's see how we can work with these comments let's try this again Okay, let's see if it will work like this. So all we are trying to pass now is Betsy. Well, same thing. Okay, so I think I've been able to, able to figure that. So let's go back to our file and see. Now, why this is showing is because this is not on the same line. So all we need to do is to move this in. So we're just going to move this, tap it inside in order for, for this to work. So let's just tap it inside like that and do the same here. So comment on all the lines here. So this is how your comment should look like. So once you type your, your um, opening comment tag, please use the tab key to tap it inside and do the same for the closing comment tag. So here we can save and exit. Um, what did we just do again? Okay. Our lines has to be 24 lines. See, this is 24, so we, have, we need to have 24 lines. So let's save and exit again. Now let's copy our file. So this is to compile the file. So let's, before we compile, let's do Betty and see. So let's do Betty. So let's do Betty. So now Betty is fine. So let's compile and see. And then let's check our file. So we should have the same output like this. So one main. So that is correct. You see? Infinite loop coming, incoming, inf infinite loop avoided. Infinite loop incoming, infinite loop avoided. So that is good. We can now git add git commit. And git push. Okay, so we need to check our network, I guess. Yep. So that's my network. We couldn't push because of my network. Let's move to the next question. We'll come back and push when I'm able to connect to the internet. I'm using my Ubuntu so I can work without the internet. All right. Um. So when we are able to push, let me check if it's connected already. So we can push. Mm. 
gets pushed. Okay, so that is done. Let's go ahead and check our code. If everything is done correctly, just to check for us. So we're just trying to debug. Yeah, so that is correct. We're trying to debug their code. So we are not coding. We're only trying to debug their code. So questions two say this program prints the largest of three numbers. So when you run this program, it's supposed to print the largest of two numbers. That is what it means. So when you run this code, it's supposed to print the largest of two numbers. Okay. So this is the yep, that's the file name. And um this so we are asked to create what so two largest number two largest number sorry guys my son is my son is awake so that's the most times i have to do my videos at night okay so we have to do the largest of two numbers so first we create the file we create the file two large numbers so we'll copy this. Enter. So let's set paste. Okay. So now we need to copy our file, which is this two largest numbers. So we are including main.h. So when you see main.h, that means there is a prototype that we need to impute inside our main.h file to work with because we're not using the standard library. All right, so we just copy this file and we'll paste this. So this is just a simple way to understand how your questions are being asked and then follow up with it. So you just look at the findings. Most times they're just, you know, um, one or two things you need are already in the task. So you just need to look at your task carefully and follow it okay so now this program is supposed to print the largest of three numbers right this is the main file so we are going to use this main file so let's let's work on um this first this is where we have the error the bug that we need to fix and after that we need to copy the prototype and paste in our header file because we are using the main.h file which is our local header file and um, then we'll now use our main.c file to test the code and see if it will work okay so let's do that first we need to fix this code we say this is supposed to print the largest of three numbers now for us to print the largest of three numbers we are using the logical operator and this one we're using the and logical you know we have the all logical operator and the and logical operator so so we are saying that if a is less than is greater than b and b is greater than c largest is a so this is wrong actually this code is wrong so let's try to fix this code let's try to fix this code and see so here should be if a is greater than or equals to b right and a is greater than or equals to c so we are checking the first condition if a is greater than or equals to b and a is greater than or equals to c then it should print that a is the largest right so that's the first condition out of the three so let's go to the next condition which is s s if b is greater than or equals to a and b yeah b is greater than or equals to c then b is the largest number because obviously if b is greater than a and is greater than c then b is the largest number right so let's fix the last code so s if a it's not if a is not greater b is not greater then automatically the s statement is that c 
is the largest of the two numbers all right so else c is the largest of the two numbers so the first one you need to change is this change your conditional statement and change this because look at it carefully if a is greater than or equals to b and a is greater than so if these two conditions are certain that a is greater than b or a and a is greater than c not all and a is greater than c that means automatically a is the largest of these two numbers but if b is greater than a and b is greater than c then b is the largest but if these two conditions fail, then definitely it has to be C. So S, it has to be C. So that is all they want us to do here. So we're just going to save and exit. I feel like Betty is going to complain. So let's run Betty on this file and see. Yeah, Betty is complaining. So let's fix that. I don't know why this set face is um not working today i need to check it uh, probably from my end though so we just need to remove all the all the spaces here Just to make sure that we don't have spaces. So you just need to be patient and try and do this because if you don't do this, Betty will complain. That's fine now. Just trying to go back and see. Okay. Okay, so let's see. This should work now. Let's run Betty again and see. So we still have spaces in um, line 18 and line 28. Let's fix that. Line 18. This is line 18. Yeah, there are spaces there. Okay, that is fixed, line 28. That is fixed too, so. So just take your time to work on your, your, your file to avoid Betty's Wahala. So here we are done, Betty has cleared us. 
let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um, open our header file vi main dot ish all right so we need to copy our prototype for this which is this we need to copy our prototype and paste in our header file so followed by the semicolon remember because it's a prototype so here we can save now the next thing we need to do is to then test our file so i'm going to create the um the main.c file just to test our file So let's just copy this. And test our file. Okay. So now we can test our file and see if our file will compile correctly. So our file should print the largest of two numbers. So let's compile and let's check our file to main. So you see that the largest of two numbers is 972 and that is correct because obviously from the main file the largest of two numbers is 972. So that is correct. All right. So let's just git add git commit and git push all right so let's check our code so everything should be fine all right so you see that all checks are correct now for the last tax i'm going to put the code in the description of this video because i am still trying to figure this out where the box in this code um are or is if it's one box but i'm going to put this in the description of this video i'll put a google form or a google document that carries a description that carries the code for this question so thank you for joining and see you again in my next video